Hey all you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI toy review. Now, to be honest, this is kind of an impromptu review. I wasn't necessarily planning on reviewing this figure originally. It's been out long enough that there are a ton of reviews already out there in the land of YouTube. So I wasn't really sure if it was necessary for me to do another review. But it has always been one of my favorite versions of Daredevil, this costume. Even though when he first appeared in the comics with it, it really actually was not a fan favorite. A lot of people were upset, as I remember, for them taking him out of his classic red outfit. And also, I I think some people had a problem with him wearing actual armor but i always love this design i love the red and black colors on him and so you know other companies toy biz did a five inch version which coincidentally was not actually part of the spider-man line originally uh it was actually released as part of the regular toy biz line which you can see here i still have mine on the card back i actually have two of these toy biz figures one loose and one on the card back but you can see it was released on the actual uh just normal toy biz card back i don't recall if they actually re-released the figure as a you know part of the spider-man line or not but i don't think so i don't recall that you can see here this is the other figures that were released in the original line sue storm spider-man punisher with that crappy trench coat and then u.s agent which is another favorite in the line for mine and then these down here were actually the original uh figures that they released for the five inch toy biz line so with this one you do get the card back that's made to look like the you know five inch spider-man figures that were essentially based on the animated series that was on Fox great series if you have Disney plus you should go back and watch it if you haven't already uh, so it you know, holds up even today and had tons of Marvel characters outside of spider-man that made appearances and stuff including Daredevil though he did not wear this outfit in the cartoon um, he wore his regular uh, red outfit in, in in the series but with this you get the spider-man logo up top you've got the image on the side there you've got the figure clearly displayed on the back of the packaging you get the the bio there and then it shows you the other figures that are being released in this retro wave now I saw this entire wave at my local Walmart because I just happened to be lucky when I went in uh, last Saturday morning and they were literally just putting them out on shelves I only picked up the Electro figure, which you know has the full costume of the classic Electro. The one I previously had had the legs weren't really accurate, um, but was more modern and everything. So I went on and got that Electro so I could complete out my Sinister Six, but I have not picked up any of the others besides this one and, and Electro. I may eventually, I haven't decided. You know, I've got a little more picky, uh, uh, pick and choose of what I get from Marvel Legends just because there's so much stuff that comes out and honestly, you know, funds are on more of the limited side these days but again this was always a favorite of mine so I went on and got it and let's go on and open them up and take a look at what's inside Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging along with the other contents. Okay, so let's start off by taking a look at the two different head sculpts that come with this figure. You've got the unmasked one and then you've got the masked head sculpt. Okay, so we'll start off taking a look at the unmasked head sculpt that came with this figure. And originally I thought this was just going to be the same unmasked head sculpt that we got with that Walgreens exclusive first appearance Daredevil figure and it's not it's a totally different head sculpt from that one now it does look kind of similar to the one that we got one of the unmasked head sculpts that we got with the recent x-men three pack with the jim lee cyclops and the gene gray and wolverine figures but and i don't have that handy to give you an exact comparison but i have looked and there are differences with the hair sculpt and everything so maybe it's a modified head sculpt from that cyclops one but it but it is definitely different so overall, I think it looks pretty good. I like the wash and the hair with the red hair, so I think that looks good. He's got the red glasses. The only complaint I have with this is the eyebrows. You can see are kind of uh, sticking out from the glasses there. They're just painted on there, but the paint that they used is a brighter red than the, the rest of his hair, so it does stand out a little bit. So really, that's my only minor complaint. I could have done if they just left the eyebrows off, you know, they you could have with these glasses they could easily be behind the glasses and you wouldn't have to actually see them and then here's a look at the masthead sculpt you've got the black and then you've got some metallic red on the back there and that is actually sculpted on there it's not just painted he's got the horns that are sculpted like we've seen with previous daredevil figures and with this one he's got red eyes which look good and good skin tone for the portions of the face that aren't covered by the mask and here's a look at the masthead sculpt on the body of the figure it fits well and i think looks good you know fits nice and tight and and definitely is sized well for the figure.
And then here's a look at the unmasked head sculpt on the body of the figure. Again, seems to fit pretty good, nice and tight, and seems to be pretty well sized for the figure. Maybe not quite as good as the masked head sculpt, but, but I think it works pretty good overall. And the unmasked head sculpt will also fit on previous Daredevil figures that Hasbro's released. So you can put it like on the regular uh, red suited Daredevil. It fits nice and tight. And if you're looking for a civilian type Matt Murdock figure, lawyer Matt Murdock, I would recommend that you use the Agent Ross figure. You know, there's a number of different suited figures that Hasbro's done for Marvel Legends. But I think, you know, the Agent Ross suit probably works best for Matt Murdock. And the head sculpt does fit nice and tight on that figure. Comes with two sets of hands, so you get the closed fisted hands, which are attached to the figure when you take it out of the packaging. And then you get the grip hands for the billy clubs that are also included with the figure. Now for the billy clubs, it's the same type of accessory that we've seen with all the previous Daredevil figures. You've got, basically, they're made with that rubber type plastic. They do come out of the packaging a little bit bent. And with these, they're done with a silver color. We've seen with these accessories, you can stick them together so it makes kind of a longer staff, even though to me it's not really very fitting for actual uh, Daredevil's billy clubs. Now with this armored outfit, instead of storing the billy clubs in a holster on his leg like we've seen with the previous costumes, with this one he actually would keep them uh, on his wrist where he could like shoot them out at people. So with this figure, Hasbro's included two different sets of wrist bracelets, one with the billy clubs attached. They are not removable. Like with the loose ones, they're done with just a rubber material and they do come out of the packaging a little bit bent. But then they've also given you, so when you're he's like holding the actual billy club they've given you a second pair of wrist bracelets that have that don't have the actual billy clubs attached and here's a look at the figure with the alternate wrist bracelets the grip hands with him holding the two billy clubs now for the figure itself overall i like the paint applications i really like the metallic red that they've used on this figure i think it pops well with the black and you've got that on his chest and up around his neck and that matches up with the red that's on his head there on the back you also have the plating that's done with the red on the back there and the hand hands uh, match up pretty well with the same kind of metallic red and then again on the around the knee area of the figure now i like the silver that they've used on the legs but i will say that with these uh shoulder pads which are separate pieces on the figure they do come off looking more plasticky than than actual metal so i would have been nice maybe if they had done uh did a little better job with the paint apps on there you know from certain angles it doesn't look bad but definitely when you start looking up close at the figure uh that looks more those shoulder pads look more plastic plastic than metal. Same with the wrist bracelets. Uh, they really come off looking more plastic than metal. But again, the, the metallic silver that they use on the legs, I actually think looks pretty good. Okay, so for articulation on this one, you can turn the head to the left and the right, and he can look down really good. You've got that hinge joint, and he can look back pretty good as well. Now, you do get some separation between the neck and the head when he's looking all the way back, but overall, you've got good movement, and you got a little head pivot as well with this one. Now, with the shoulders, you do have these shoulders pads they don't really have any articulation they are done with a soft plastic they can get in the way a little bit but still you can get the arm out pretty good there and you can rotate the arm all the way around with no problem you've got the bicep swivel you've got the double hinged uh, elbow so he's got good bending there you've got the rotation with the wrist and you do have the hinges so you've got good up and down movement with the hands you have an ab crunch joint so he can crunch forward pretty good and then he can look back about that much there at the ab crunch you've got a waist swivel with this one with the legs he can do the splits about that much and then you can get the leg forward really good and get it up high and then you can do it out back pretty good you've got the thigh swivel you've got double jointed knees so you can bend his knees good and i will say for most of the joints they are pretty sturdy i've been noticing with some of the more recent marvel legend figures i've been getting you've got that gummy joint syndrome especially the rage figure i recently got had really bad knee joints but with this one they're pretty good uh maybe a little bit rubbery with the ankle joints so you might want to be careful with those but you know, you've got up and down movement and you do have ankle pivot with these. You do not have a calf swivel with these and uh, just the thigh swivel up top there. And then two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. 
So this figure stands right around six and a quarter inches tall, maybe just a hair taller than six and a quarter inches. Now here's a comparison of the previous comic book based Marvel Legend Daredevil figures that Hasbro's done. So the first appearance Daredevil, uh, red suited Daredevil with the black DD. Then we've got the armored Daredevil, the red suited Daredevil with the red DD, and then the, the black and red Daredevil figure that they did most recently. And then finally, here's a comparison of the new Marvel Legend armored daredevil with the older five inch armored daredevil figure from toy biz and then the four inch marvel universe or marvel legend four inch figure whatever you want to call it that hasbro did now this figure was made towards the end of the line when they started cutting articulation and everything so uh not as good of a figure as i would have hoped so i would say the new marvel legend daredevil is the best version of armored daredevil though this uh toy biz one will always have a special place in my heart Okay, so that's my review. So overall, I think this is a pretty good figure. I'm pretty happy with it. My only minor complaints come with the silver on the shoulder pads or lack of silver. It's really more just kind of seems like plastic. Same with the wrist uh, bracelets that he's wearing. I do like the metallic silver on the sides of the legs. It would have been nice if they could have uh, kind of captured that more with the shoulder pads. I do love the red metallic paint that they use throughout the figure. I think it pops nicely with the black. You get the uh, basically the same kind of Billy Club accessories, which, you know, not my favorite, but what you're going to do. You get the unmasked head sculpt which is surprisingly a, a new or fairly new head sculpt it's not just a reuse of the one from the first appearance daredevil which is nice and does work with other daredevil figures and other suited body figures if you want to create like a, a lawyer matt murdoch figure you just need to find a good cane to use with the figure but if you're a fan of this armored version and you also get the retro spider-man card back though technically it probably should have been on a, a retro toy biz card back but still you do get that which is cool so if you're a fan of the armored version of daredevil like myself i think this is one you're definitely going to want to add to your collection now this figure has started to hit shelves i think you're going to start seeing this entire retro wave in greater numbers i've even uh, heard that some online e-tailers have started to ship these out so like i said if you haven't been able to find this yet i, I think you know give it a week or so and i think you'll probably be able to uh, get your hands on it pretty easily so I'd love to hear your thoughts on, on my review, what, what you think of the figure down below in the comments section. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, like the video, and also don't forget that next Tuesday there's going to be some new Marvel Legend reveals from Hasbro. It's going to be, it is going to be a, a video live stream type event, so hopefully we're going to see a couple of different things. I know one of the things that we're going to be seeing, which is probably would be pretty cool, but hopefully there'll be some other things as well. I'm really hoping to see the Silver Centurion Walgreens exclusive Iron Man and that's going to take place at 12 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, and again, it is going to be a video streaming event with, with the entire uh, Hasbro uh, Marvel Legend brand team. So uh, we'll have coverage of that up on Marvelous News. As always, stay safe out there, guys. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification to alert it every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great.